Get more customers. Get more customers. If we get more customers, we'll get more money. But you can get a customer coming in and they're buying a 10 Rand product, a 100,000 Rand product, or a 3 million Rand product. So we want to get a spread of customers that gets us to target the fastest, easiest possible way. Because you could work very hard serving a thousand people at 10 Rand profit, or you could serve a hundred people at 10,000 Rand profit. Hmm? So as you go through these two days, there's going to be a deep focus on personal development and a high focus on business development. So you start thinking, acting, and behaving like a business owner. Let me assure you that there's somebody half your age, with twice your education, with three times your energy, with four times your hunger, and five times your commitment to steal your job, your company, your customer. They are coming, you just don't know it. They are called Chinese imports. They are called Pakistani imports. They are called illegal imports. They are called the mom and pop who are operating out of a garage who realize, why do I need Falcon? I can go to China myself. I'll bond my house. I'll get a half a million rand worth of stock. I'll sell it for five million and I'll be cheaper than Falcon. They're coming for you. The only way you're going to win this war is you're going to sharpen the axe. You have to become a slayer, a deal maker, a game changer, a shape shifter. Because if we keep on doing what we've been keep on doing, we're going to keep getting what we've been getting. And I don't think we want to keep getting the leftovers. In business and life, you either choose, I'm going to dominate or compete. And right now, I want to raise your hunger. I want you to be hungry to go out there and catch a hen's walk. A kudu. And you put that thing on your shoulder and you come home like a hunter and you say, Tonight, we feast. Instead of going home and saying, His wife said, And be careful, the, the milk is cheap, then buy the milk. If it's too expensive, do without it. And that's what happens when you start downsizing. Folks, what is the number one challenge in your business right now? So, what's holding you back from making sales targets? 